Shorties in the city moving slow. 30, 30, 35, for the coat. Only, only, only real niggas keep you flow. Keep you flow. Only true niggas. Alright, so I was on Twitter the other day. And Nav went on this, um, I don't want to say Twitter rant, but he made a statement. He tweets out, I wouldn't show up to your freshman list. Fuck XXL, your magazine's trash. Sorry, I mean website. So it brought up the good topic. In 2018, does the XXL freshman list matter? I mean, I don't think so. They Right now, all they do is put hot mumble rappers on it. Back in the day, they used to have like literally who is bubbling and would be up next. J. Cole, Kendrick. YG, Logic. But now they just put the nigga with the fucking, they just look at the top 10 SoundCloud charts. Just put all the niggas on it. Yeah, it looks like they just go see who's popping on social media. Like, who's yep. who's ever gonna draw the traffic to their website? Yep. You don't need a, what, the only thing XXL Magazine does for you is like, do they even do, they do, they don't even put you on tour. You do like New York and Los Angeles. And you, you do you, the cipher. You do the cipher, but then again, it's like you're promoting XXL and they have a big old freaking um, an ad commercial or an ad baked in where it says um, Magnum condoms <laughs> right after it. It's like you're this you're this big um, marketing for the freshman list. Like, yo, we're using you and we're not paying you. Mm -hmm. Like the biggest look you're going to get on the magazine. The people who are in charge of the freshman list, like who are they don't have no say like. They don't represent the culture, so why should why should we go by their word? You know. I mean, the only reason why it mattered in the first place because XXL was a big deal in the nineties, but right now where anyone can literally just pick up her phone and listen to anything they want to listen to. Back in the day, you literally had to wait for someone to tell you what was hot, or you have to hear it on the radio. You couldn't just stream the shit. Right. Yeah. And like blog sites were the thing, so and Instagram and, and everything else wasn't really popping. Yeah, and back to the thing, like, I think the freshman list, the freshman list could matter, like, moving on, but it, it, it doesn't have to be XXL's freshman list. Like, we see who who's one of the, the main editors is Vanessa, and it's like, bro, I, keep it a buck. You're not listening to Smoke Perps 1, uh, one 2, 3. I, there's no way she's driving in her and her Prius or Focus and she's listening to that record. So you're telling me- She might be bumping that in the Prius, bro. That shit might go hard in the Prius. You don't know. I know it goes hard in the Prius, but <laughs> <laughs> it just, her picking the voting thing is just sketchy. It's just sketchy when we're starting to see it. Again, it's it's promotion for their, for their magazine. The magazine, yeah. Like, yeah, that's the only cover that people look on all year. And I think they have like nine covers. Yeah, they it's have, not- They release like nine magazines per year and that's the only one that gets any traffic at all. Like, I was going through Twitter the other day, and it's like, yo, 21 Savage on XXL. And I'm like, what? Okay. I don't even know what the... You know the only reason I see... Yo, the only reason I found out that 21 Savage was on the cover of XXL Magazine was because I follow Cole Bennett, who does all the, the videos for, like, sm yeah. Smoke Perp and all them. And they had, like, a little headline on the corner. Only reason I knew about an XXL cover that wasn't the freshman list. They're so irrelevant. And then again, in 2018, when there's like social media, you can pretty much- yeah, you don't need a cover. Yeah, you promote yourself. Like, yeah, promote yourself, you don't need a cover. And Nav is already signed to XO, so it's not like, that's probably actually bigger promotion than fucking XXL anyway. Just so yeah. we can do it sounds with you, so. Yes, yeah, that's true. And then the whole, the whole thing that you have to do where it's like, there's stories, and I think even Vanessa said it too, which Vanessa's the editor from, um, who's in charge of the freshman list. She says people have to do like the little, I don't want to say little dance, but they have to go show up to their office in New York and play them new music throughout a couple of months. It's like, why do I need to go play you my music? Who but, are you? But I think they want to, I think they want to check if you're just going to be a bum in two months. They put you in your, um, put you on your listening or release garbage music. But that's why the, that's, two months. that's why they don't know what's pop because you can look at a smoke perp and you don't need a, you don't need a, you don't need to be like, yo, let me listen to your music. You already know the talent's there. There's a reason why he signed to Travis. He's the first artist to sign with um Travis Scott's uh, record label. You're telling me you need to hear like the exact same amount, uh, same uh, same amount of music that took for him to sign to Travis Scott's label? Come on, that's when again it brings up like, it brings up the whole credibility where it's like, you don't know what's popping in in 2018. And it shows by the list, which, what was the list last year? That's the one with Cardi, Anime. That has to be one of the worst lists I've ever seen. Ugly God. Ugly. <sighs> like, and no offense to Ugly God. Like, the only star that's going to come out that list is XX. Yeah. Only star. And again, 
They didn't put him on that list because they wanted to. They said XXX was voted by the fans. So it's like, I'm pretty sure they didn't even see the talent. There's no way X played him those records. It was like, yo, X is um X is controversial. People are voting for him. He's going to draw traffic. We need him on here. In 2018 or in 2019, we need someone else to make a list. Like When Academics was on Adam's YouTube or live thing, live stream on YouTube, they were talking, uh, academics was talking about, we need to make our, our own panel. It should be like Adam, uh, Cole Bennett, uh, Anthony Fantango. I even think like DJ Boo should be in there. 